All athletes prepare for their sport in different ways. I'm neighborhood reporter Matt Sizemore, and I remember back in the day when I was playing football, it was hours upon hours of lifting, running, drills, and so much more. Nowadays, when I prepare to play a video game, I pretty much just sit down. But that's not the case for Boise State University's eSports team. Are you joking? Recruiting eSports athletes is relatively similar to how other college athletes are recruited. We look for folks that are really good at school and really good at the game because we need them for four years and we need them with a degree at the end. But obviously these players won't need to bench 350 pounds or have a 28 inch vertical to be in the top tier of their sport. They're still part of a division one sports program, but they train to battle on a virtual blue turf. The field is different, but we expect them to have good sleep patterns, to, uh, to eat properly, to work out. In whatever way they choose, we don't hold team workouts or hit the team weight room because that doesn't impact our competitive advantage, but their health does. No group lifting sessions, no mandatory fast twitch training, and no running laps for a missed block. It's all about education in BSU's eSports arena. Learning about the importance of eating right and how that impacts not only my academics, my ability to sleep, but my physical performance. And physical performance plays into how you compete because it is your reaction time, it is how alert you are. And then on top of that, eSports also encouraged me to treat my body better. Outside of just diet, I started doing a lot more yoga. I lift a little bit, but I don't like to lift because it's just not not for me. And the Broncos are pushing in! But of course, it's not just diet and exercise. Like a basketball player putting up free throws or a baseball player hitting the batting cage, eSports players also put in the time. I was here about 20 hours a week, if not more, um, playing one game and trying to do my best to improve at it. And that doesn't even account for the time that people play when they're at home. Like, I played at home every single day, even if I was here for four hours. And just like any other athlete in any other sport, you won't go anywhere without the proper mindset. I always am preaching about maintaining, staying happy. If you're not happy, you need to focus in, focus up on the game and realize, yes, it is just a game at the end of the day, but you need to know that you left everything on that virtual field. You did the best you can. The only way to do that is to stay positive. Though it might be athletes from other sports you're likely to find putting up huge weights in the school gym. Ah, uh, that's what's up, Doc. Boise State University! <laughs> The four national championships, 11 conference titles, and ridiculous amount of individual and team awards will tell you that whatever Boise State is doing to train their e-athletes, it seems to be working. Go Broncos! It's still something that we care a lot about and work really hard towards. So even though our training isn't quite the same, it is still strict, it is still rigorous, and it is still draining. And if you ever want to catch Boise State University's eSports team, you can usually catch them on Twitch or YouTube. I'm neighborhood reporter Matt Sizemore for Idaho News 6.